afternoon, everyone. Virgo here. Um, first, before I get started with this uh, FTC consumer uh, information that I want to go over with you guys on robocalls, I want to make mention of the fact that um, this week is going to be just a trial with regards to uh, going live. I've got new software that's been downloaded that I need to try out, so I'm going to be attempting that on Thursday, uh, probably right around... I would say uh, probably right around 8 a.m. Pacific time, so that would be 10 a.m. Central time. Um, I'm going to be going live on a super chat to see how it works out. Uh, I don't promise anything because, again, this is um, new software that I'm trying out. This is going to be... Uh, instead of me doing the blog talk radio since they're still having problems with their platform and I don't want to wait any longer this will allow people to chat ask questions and interact uh, with me live instead of having to constantly either email or put information in the comments I plan on doing this once a week as I've explained um, and my hope is that it will only take me this week to get used to the software and make sure that I can see everybody and everything's hooked up right or see everybody, see all of the uh, comments and everything in the chat. Um, so if you guys will bear with me, I won't need a moderator for this week. I'm not going to be on for very long. This is a test that will be happening on Thursday. However, uh, next week I will uh, start looking into the two moderators that I already have, uh, whether or not I need more from that point forward. So thank you to everyone who emailed and offered to be a moderator. It may turn out that we do need more than two or three, and uh, I appreciate that very much. Okay, so I'm going to get into this. Something that's been just, just really just irritating the heck out of me, and I'm sure a lot of other people too, are these darn robocalls that we continue to get Everything from the uh, scammers in India all the way to um, roofing people. I've been getting calls from roofing companies, um, but they're all those robocalls and they all claim that you have to call them back or press one or whatever. So um, this has been a number one complaint for well over two years now. And the Federal Trade Commission has now stepped in. So I received this notification this morning from the FTC. I'm on their mailing list uh, so that I can notify you guys when there's new consumer information that comes out. So they have put up, um, and I'll link this in the description for you guys to take a look at too. They've put up how to stop unwanted calls. And they've got a link here where you can actually click on it. Uh, on the web page and report unwanted calls. They say, why are you getting so many calls? Often it's scammers calling. Here's what you need to know about unwanted calls and how to stop them. Share these articles, infographs, and videos with your friends, family, and followers. And I would suggest that everybody who has social media, Facebook, Twitter, um, any any of them, please share this video because this is really important that people actually have the capability to stop these calls from coming in. It's millions upon millions of dollars that have been lost to these scammers and some people just simply are not as savvy about knowing what to respond to. One of the ones that's been a big problem is the social security one where they call and they claim that they're going to stop your social security number, put a hold on it if you don't call them back and then they try to extort money out of you. This is something that again the elderly fall for on a regular basis and they're out three, four, five hundred dollars. Uh, I actually got a story of one person whose grandmother was out $1,400 her entire uh, check for that month because of a scammer claiming that her social security number would be placed on hold and she wouldn't get any more checks if she didn't take care of this problem. Blocking unwanted calls. Scammers can use the internet to make calls from all over the world. They don't care if you're on a national do not call registry or not. Uh, that's why your best defense against unwanted calls is blocking them. Which type of call blocking or call labor labeling technology you use will depend on the phone that you're using, whether it's mobile or traditional landline or a home phone that makes calls over uh, internet VOIP services. So um, there's a link here on how to block 
unwanted calls. There are a couple of really good apps for those of you that are using cell phones that are for both Apple and Android, and those are excellent. Um, there's a couple of them that are better than others. If you guys need any, uh, you know, if you want, I've checked into it because it's something I'm having a problem with. My family's having issues with these robocalls too. Um, so if you want to just shoot me an email, Virgo, try it at protonmail.com, or you can put it in the comment section. I will uh, go ahead and put the link up for the Google Play Store if you want to know which ones I'm using. Um, the robocalls they're talking about. If you answer the phone and hear a recorded message instead of a live person, it's a robocall. If you're getting a lot of robocalls trying to sell you something, odds are the calls are illegal. Many are also probably scams. Um, and so here is how to report robocalls to get those stopped. And there's a link here under the uh, FTC.gov uh, article. Register for the National Do Not Call Registry. Now, keep in mind that this is something that probably is not going to affect the scammers in India. All right, They really just don't care about following regulations in the United States. And until they're shut down by people like Jim Browning, uh, we're, we're you know stuck with that to some extent, which is where your call blocking comes in. However, if they're within the United States, like a lot of these groups that are calling about air duct cleaning and that sort of thing, this will actually assist Quite a bit with that. So use the reg use and register for the National Do Not Call Registry. There's additional information on call blocking information resources that you can get through the CTIA and the FCC. There's a couple of links here where the FCC talks about call blocking resources, and then there's also information on a media resources page that will give you information as far as what the FT uh, the FTC. Uh, what else they're trying to do. There are additional articles you can go into and read if you want to. This is a very valuable page because it does walk you through the process of every single step that you can take in order to stop these. My suggestion would be to make sure that you do pass these on, uh, pass the video on, or at least pass the link on to as many people as you can. This is something that everyone in the nation is having a problem with, and my understanding is that there are other countries that are having problems with this also. And although the FTC may not regulate in other countries, these are still really great ideas in order to stop um, getting so many unwanted calls and robocalls. All right, you guys, I just wanted to update you on that. Thank you so much, and I look forward to our live chat that's going to be coming up on Thursday. It's going to be a short one because, again, it's just going to be me trying to make sure I can see everybody and uh, trying to make sure that uh, I can use the software properly. And if I make a fool of myself, you guys can sit back and laugh. So that gives you guys an avenue that's good, um, that hopefully everybody will have, have the opportunity to show up for, even if it's only for a couple of minutes. And then the following week, we should be able to start uh, going with a regularly scheduled um, super chat. So looking forward to it. Okay, guys, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.